everyone, welcome to the channel, my name is Georgia and today I'm going to be watching Season 2, Episode 9 of Supernatural. If you want access to the uncut reactions, the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. Last episode was a really interesting one. We were introduced to crossroad demons and packs that can be made on crossroads where people basically summon a demon and they ask for something and then in exchange they get hunted down in 10 years, which you have to be really desperate for something in order to make a deal like that. I mean, the only one that I really understood was the guy who saved his wife's life, but Dean wasn't too happy with that one, which is interesting because of the whole situation with Dean and John and John trading his life for Dean. Whereas Evan's pact was the one that I thought made the most sense because the others were asking for a talent. And I certainly would not give up many years of my life just to have a talent for 10 years, but saving someone else's life potentially. Dean summoned the demon to try and exercise it. And he was saying that he would sell his soul to like lure them into a devil's trap. But the demon started talking about John and confirmed to Dean that John did sell his soul for him. And they said that John is burning in hell, which I didn't even think about. I just thought he was dead. I forget that heaven and hell could be like really big concepts in this show. Hell is hell. And if John sacrificed all of that for Dean, oh, it's so, oh, oh you feel guilty and bad for Dean. I think that his father gave up so much to save him is insane. And then they were talking about another deal. Dean said that he would trade his soul in order to bring back his father. He didn't do the deal in the end. He kept the original one and released Evan from his contract. But it's implied that Dean heavily considered taking that deal and trading his life back with John's. Cause when Sam asked him in the car on the drive, I was about to say the drive home, but they don't really have a home, do they? When he asked him in the car, did you consider taking the deal? Dean didn't answer. So I think he definitely did consider it. And considering the amount of guilt he has been feeling, it only makes sense for him to consider an opportunity like that. But I'm very glad he didn't take it. I know he's suffering so much, but when you think about the prospect of hell, you can't go to hell. You can't choose hell. I do hope that they can find a way to at least get John out of hell. I don't know if they'd be able to bring him back to life, but anything is possible in this show, but to at least get him out of hell because he doesn't deserve to be suffering for all eternity. That's absolutely awful. I thought the last episode was really interesting, introduced a very interesting demon, and it looks like there's potential for them to come back because they weren't exercised. So yeah, let's see what this episode has in store. No, I swear, it's not in me. Oh God. We're all gonna die. Maybe he's telling the truth. What is happening? No, I can't tell. No, please, don't, don't. I, I swear, got no choice. I swear, it's not in me. It's not in me. Please. Is Dean possessed? <laughs> that seemed very cold. Sam. A Sam Vision episode. Oh. You thought there was something inside him. A demon? Was he possessed? I don't know. He just plugged him, and that's it. Well, I'm sure I had a good reason. I sure hope so. Mm -mm. He was there. He was there. Uh, Dwayne Tanner's got a uh, scar like that. But I know him. Good kid. Keeps his nose clean. No, I'm sure he does. Uh, you know where he lives? With his family, up uh, Aspen Way. Croatoan? Yeah. Roanoke? Lost Colony? Ring a bell? Dean, did you pay any attention to history class? Dean is so me. What the hell is Sam talking about? We should get help. Bobby, uh, Ellen, maybe? Yes! Yeah, that's a good idea. <gasps> Who's it gonna be? I'll have a signal. Oh. Oh, things always go weird in a town before the yellow eyed demon hits. When's he due back from his trip? I'm not sure. Well, maybe your wife knows. No, I don't know. She's not here right now. Oh, well, your son said she was. Ooh. Did I? <laughs> She's getting groceries. That is shady. That was kind of creepy, right? A little too stepford. Big time. What are they going to do now? <laughs> Stop peering through their windows. Oh, my it's God. It's okay, Mom. It's not going to hurt. What? <gasps> Ugh. <laughs> Oh. 
Mr. Tanner? Was he attacked too? Uh, no, actually, he did the attacking and then he got himself shot. Shot? Yeah. Is he still alive? <laughs> One minute, they were my husband and my son. And the next, they had the devil in them. Hey, you know, if you would have taken out the other one, you'd one less to worry about. Sorry, all right? I hesitated, Dean. It was a kid. No, it was an it. It's still a person in there, though. I don't understand what they were trying to do, because it looked like they were trying to feed the lady their blood. But I thought that was a vampire thing to do. Oh, oh is that a baby? Oh, a car seat. Do you think an infection could have made him act like that? None that I've ever heard of. And besides, I've never heard of one that did this to the blood. Did what? There's this weird residue. If I didn't know better, I'd say it was sulfur. Sulfur. <gasps> oh. oh, hey. Sorry, road's closed. Yeah, I can see that. This guy's weird. Why don't get out of the car and we'll talk a little. Oh, it's this like step for oh, vibe again, isn't devil, it? But I don't swing that way, sorry. <laughs> Wow, oh, he's sure hanging on, isn't he? Did you have any direct contact with their blood? Oh my god. It dripped on her shoulder, didn't it? You don't think I've got this virus, do you? <gasps> oh no. <gasps> oh. Hold it down! Hold it now! Hold it down! Oh. Are you one of them? No, are you? No, it could be lying! So can you! Alright, alright. My god. <laughs> So many guns. What the hell is this? How are you gonna drive like that? Well, this ought to be a relaxing drive. <laughs> this is outrageous. A demonic virus. Yeah, more like demonic germ warfare. What? At least it explains why I've been having visions. This is so weird because I remember back in like the season one finale, Bobby said that there's been more demon inhabitations this year than any other. Sometimes and now it's multiplying and multiplying. What caused this sudden surge? We gotta get out of here. We gotta warn people. They've got one! In here! You're gonna kill Beverly Tanner. Yeah, what? Doctor, could there be any treatment? Some kind of cure for this? Can you cure it? For God's sake, I don't even know what it is! I told you it's a matter of time before she breaks through. Just leave her in there. You can't shoot her like an animal. This is like a debate right now. Like a war of polarizing sides. I... D oh, it's... I don't know what side I'm on. I'm so indecisive. They're infected, not me. Please, Mark. You've known me all your life. Dean is not possessed. I guess he has to be the one to take the bad cop role all the time. It's the Wayne Tanner. This is the guy. So now we need to try and work out if he's possessed or not. Has anybody seen my mom and dad? Um... Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> You're um... bleeding. <gasps> Time up. There's rope in there. Wait, sit down! <laughs> you can't kill him, all right? Not yet. We don't know if he's infected or not. Oh, I think we're pretty damn sure. Guy shows up out of nowhere. Got a cut on his leg. His whole family's infected. All right, then we should keep him tied up and we should wait and see. Yeah. For what? For him to hulk out? Infect somebody else? No thanks. Can't take that chance. Ah! Oh! You don't act like yourself anymore, Dean. Hell, you know what? You're acting like one of those things out there. Mm -hmm. <sighs> hey! I'm with Sam. I faced this moral dilemma a lot of times when I was watching All of Us Are Dead. And I'm always a team. Wait and see if they turn. Ask the doctor. It's not in me. Dean, don't do it. I can't tell. Oh. No, please. I swear it's not in me. It's not in me. I swear. I, I swear it's not in me. I got no choice. Yeah, you do. You do. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. <gasps> Sam talks him out of this. It's been over four hours. Dwayne's blood is still clean. I don't think he's infected. I'd like to untie him, if that's all right. Oh, I don't like that now. I've been waiting for this the whole time. For what? To get you alone. Has she been infected this whole time? <gasps> How did she hold it? <sighs> don't leave on him. Don't. Oh. 
She robbed him. He's got the virus. Nobody is shooting my brother. Oh, it's, it's different now, huh? You said it yourself. <laughs> Nobody's shooting anyone. You are gonna shoot me. I'm infected. Just give me the gun and I'll do it myself. Forget oh it. Oh my god. Dude, I'm not gonna become one of those things. Sam, we've still got some time. Time for what? Get the hell out of here, that's what. What about you? If he dies, he'll die with him. Oh, don't start crying. <laughs> Just get the hell out of here. No way. Oh god. Give me my gun. And no. Leave. This is the dumbest thing you've ever done. I don't know about that. For that waitress in Tampa. <laughs> now is not the time for these kind of jokes. I'm sick. It's over for me. Oh, stop. stop. It doesn't have to be for you. No. No, you <sighs> can keep going. Who says I want to? What? Oh, God. Now's the time Dean's going to open up. I'm tired, Sam. I'm tired of this job. This life. This weight on my shoulders, man. I'm tired of it. There's no one. Not anywhere. They've all just vanished. Well, it's been five hours and your blood's still clean. I don't understand it, but I think you dodged a bullet. Is he immune? <gasps> Is he immune because of something to do with his powers? Their blood. There's no trace of the virus. No sulfur. Nothing. What? Better get over to Sidewinder. Get the authorities up here. If they'll believe me. Why did that sound really weird? Was that bad acting? You mind pulling over up ahead there? <gasps> Imagine he was infected all that time. What? What the hell is that? <gasps> oh my god! Wait! Uh, that is the Meg thing! So he was possessed, just not by that virus. The Winchester boy, definitely immune as expected. Nothing left behind. Well, the doctor is. Last night. You want to tell me what the hell you were talking about? Yeah, you know, all this driving back and forth across country. You know, I've never been to the Grand Canyon. Oh, oh we could go to TJ. Why do we gotta get stuck with all the responsibility, you know? Why can't we live life a little bit? Yeah. Why are you saying all this? But they could take a break, actually. I've never really thought about that. They could just have a day or two off. Right before Dad died, he told me something. He told me something about you. Now tell us. What? I'm watching the next one today. Come on, man. The whole previously made it seem like they would reveal it this episode. I can't believe it. Okay, that was a really interesting concept for this show because it was introducing like viruses combined with demonic possession and stuff like that. It's really interesting that Sam was immune and I mean, thank God for that. Otherwise we would have been losing both Sam and Dean. I feel like the reason he is immune is probably something to do with his powers and the yellow eyed demon because I'm assuming that um, the guy at the end there was talking to the yellow eyed demon in the like bowl full of blood the same way Meg did in season one I think that they must be no we know that oh we actually know that Meg was one of his children because he said that in the season one finale didn't he he was like oh you kill my children i'll kill yours now and stuff like that so meg was like his child and she called him father so she was communicating with him so that means that this guy must also be communicating with him so they were doing these tests to find out whether sam was immune i suppose they were trying to lure sam to this town and do the test on him and he is immune so it must be something to do with the powers the yellow eyed demon must have given the powers because it seems to be a lot of the six month old babies that he visits get the powers oh this is so confusing <laughs> that scene when dean locked himself in the room with sam and said he's tired of the hunting life and stuff like that that was <laughs> that hurt that was really emotional like sam there crying because he doesn't want dean to 
die with him. Dean saying he's tired of life. Like, oh my god, that's so sad. And now Dean's gonna shrug it off and uh, whatever. But he's told Sam now that John told him something. So hopefully, I swear to god, if the next episode starts and he's just like, but I'm not telling you what it is or something like that. I'll be fuming because that is literally a cliffhanger. Oh my god, wait, was that like a was that like a mid-season finale and people had to wait for ages to watch that? Because Supernatural don't normally do the cliffhanger things like that. But maybe if it was a mid-season I'm actually gonna look that up. I'm really interested. It was! People had to wait over a month to find out for the next episode that is mean i only have to wait like 10 minutes so i'm happy that he at least told sam he knows something and we have confirmation he knows something we know that it was definitely about sam it's making dean reconsider the whole life so what the heck was it this was a really good episode season two is just too good I'm liking every episode. I feel like if I were to try and rank season two episodes so far, it would be impossible because they're all so good. And I like how this episode showed like big moral dilemmas. When I watch zombie stuff, like all of us are dead, I just watch. I was, whenever they were talking about just killing someone because they think they might be infected, I was always on the side of the people who are wanting to tie them up and wait to see if they turn. Because I feel like that's the most fair way to do it. As long as you're on hand, to kill them as soon as they turn. I don't really see the problem. Dean was kind of in the right there. I guess they should have killed the guy in the end because he is like a big demon by the looks of it and he's working with the yellow eyed demon. I just want to make a formal apology to the doctor lady. I suddenly got suspicious of her in the end, but I think it must have just been wooden acting, so <laughs> sorry. Yeah, the moral dilemmas are always really interesting and I guess it kind of gives an insight into people's personality and stuff like that on how they're willing to go about things like this. Dean is a very like, we can't take the risk. And then Sam is very, we can't kill an innocent human being, Dean. And I am generally on Sam's side in this argument. And it exposed Dean's hypocrisy as well. That was funny. When as soon as Sam got infected, he was like, no, we're not doing this. I feel like Dean needs to take that into account more and think about if this was Sam, what would he do? He wouldn't just instantly kill, so I think they need to wait. So that's it for today, guys. Thank you for watching my reaction to season two, episode nine of Supernatural. If you want to watch the episode in its entirety, then the link to the Patreon page will be in the description below. But don't feel any pressure, it's just for people that want to watch the episodes along with me. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for episode 10. Bye!